All right, man, we pulling in, man. That's y'all boys can't see. Now, but I'm gonna show you the process on getting the e-check if y'all never seen it. She can't stand a striker. Yeah. <laughs> Ain't no way. Hold on. Twelve seconds later. The choice is still on. What the fuck? That bitch get loose like that train. So we is about to go around up to AutoZone because Emo is fucking overheating, y'all. It just started saying that my engine temperature was hot. I know that that means that I don't got enough cooler than my car. And yeah, that's just the day in life of an RT owner. Hey man, we just now made it. Getting niggas smoking, hit a nigga in his throat, leave him on the floor. A couple niggas died up on your side, go tell him about the scope. Yo, bitch trying to give me throw. Any nigga talk about his head, he pull up, hit his throat. I was selling strike his stomach through the hundreds, got some paper cuz that. Here we go. Here we go, y'all. Okay. Um. Need some more juice, baby. You thirsty? Okay. There we go. That's my strike, bitch. She ride with me when they chasing us. They let that nigga body on the ground. The doctor scraped him up. Brody got some pain inside his cup. He about to sit. What's going on with the YouTube? It's your boy 345 German. In today's video, man, we're going to be giving you all a day in life video of an RT on our man. So. Y'all probably want to know what it's like for gas, maintenance, and just how it is to daily drive one of these cars, shit like that, man. I kind of did a video like this, but it's just a little different, man. I'm going to actually be showing y'all what it's like to do stuff in life with this car, man, actually. So, I'm going to be filling up my gas first off because look at my gas, man. As y'all can see, it's low as hell. Y'all, if y'all did not know, RTs burn as much gas as um Hellcats and Scats, like... They burn as much, but the gas costs less, if that makes sense. So you can go and you can get more gas due to the fact that it's filled up with 89, but it is still burn as much gas as a Hellcat and a Scat Pack would, y'all. And look how much miles per gallon I get, y'all. Look at this. 28, 20.8 miles per gallon, y'all. And mind y'all, look, I just filled up gas yesterday, y'all. Look, I'm going to put up on the screen, probably on the left or the right side, but look. I spend thirty dollars on this gas every two to three days, sometimes even one day, man. I'm about to show you how much times I spent gas, thirty dollars on gas every time this week, y'all. I'm gonna put it up on screen, and it's gonna pop up in three, two, one. Go ahead, hop outside though. As y'all can see, gas right now, y'all is three eighty nine for my car. So, do from it being low to uh, putting thirty dollars, and we about to see how much you get me, man. But yeah, man, I just wanted to switch up the video a little bit. No POV style, no how-to video. No um, car meet, no takeover, no none of that. All right, y'all, look. $30 on the gas again, man. Like I said. $30 again, man. This don't never end. This never ending with this car, man. I fill up this car so much times so that y'all, y'all think this motherfucker a Hellcat, boy. I live at the gas station. Like, I'm a part of them boys now, you feel me? And I don't even got no miles, no shit done for it to be draining as much gas. It's just crazy as well, too, y'all. But I have to go get my e-check tomorrow. I have to also go get my stickers for my plates tomorrow. And it's a legal pit. So I got a lot of stuff to do tomorrow, y'all. So I am going to be very busy, man. And I'm going to pick back up the camera uh, tomorrow for y'all, too. But let me fill up this gas and show y'all how much it'll fill me up. I put an email with the... 89 as I can see with the carbon fiber gas cap, you feel me? With the little uh uh Alright. Put that in there. Let that fill up man. I'm gonna show y'all what we get when we get in the car and I'm gonna show y'all how much gallons it gave me as well, y'all. So if y'all want y'all to RT man, this is pretty much gonna show y'all what y'all to get gas wise. Uh, if you average around 20 miles per gallon, y'all, like I said, I'm averaging, that's actually decent when you think about it, because these cars, uh, street-wise, they like 15, 16, and shit like that, but I'm at 20, y'all, so we're going to see how much gas I get, and like I said, man, I'm going to pick back up the camera when it's actually done.
Y'all, we done filling up. We put 30 in there again, and we got 7.6 miles, almost 7.7 pretty much, because you can round it up pretty much. Squeeze this little extra residue out. So it don't spill. I do this. I usually just let it all roll around and shit, y'all. Get that little drip so it don't drip on my paint. Uh, yeah, man. Three, two, one. Okay, y'all. So, so as y'all can see, we almost got us about 200 miles. We are 193, man. Like I said, it should have been decent. So that's not bad for 30 miles. I mean, for $30, it's, that's actually more than what it's usually give me because it usually give me only the like 160, 150, sometimes 170 on a good day. But 190 is actually good, man. So um, yeah, like I said, we're going to watch how fast my guys burn as I'm doing my errands tomorrow and shit like that, man. But I'm going to cut back on the camera tomorrow when I got to go uh, make my way to the e-check, man. Oh, shit. What's going on with the YouTube? It's your boy 345 German. We is in day two in the day of life of an RT owner, man. So I'm on the way to go get my e check for my uh, car right now, man. So that's why I'm ready to go catch and stuff like that, just in case my uh, check engine light came on, y'all. But I gotta go get my e check because I gotta go get my stickers. And then, like I said, we're gonna show y'all what it's like to be an RT owner, pretty much. Like I said, man, maintenance wise, I'm gonna show y'all all the stuff I pretty much don't show y'all on camera, stuff like that. But your boy is just getting off of work, man. So I might be a little drink. I might sound a little drink type shit, man. And then, man, as y'all boys can see, it is hot as fuck too, low key, y'all. So I'm gonna roll these windows down. But I'm gonna show you the process on getting the e check if y'all never seen it. But look at emo, man. Like I ain't gonna fake for whatever reason on the camera. She looking a little clean and good, and she like, what the fuck? But I will be cleaning that detail of my car. Okay. I'm about to reverse. She told me to go pull over there, so let me reverse real quick and move over there for her. Um, yeah, man, a day in the life of an RT owner, man. Engine on or off? Okay. She can't stand a striker. Can I scan the door, please? Yeah. Y'all, she couldn't uh, get the VN up for the front. I don't even know why. 2016. Striker, y'all. She inspecting a strike. Might be a. Yeah, man. As y'all boys can see. It's almost time for another oil change, so y'all. My oil life is at 30%. So that's letting y'all know that that's how clean it is still. But I just checked my oil life and it was low-key getting low, y'all, due to the fact that I be doing the POVs and driving how about job, y'all. So I will be changing it again real soon for y'all just before it get cold. And there's no way I can call them back within 60 minutes. Yeah, man, we got Emo looking decent right now, y'all. I'm about to, uh, I'm about to move forward real quick. I'm gonna clean it for y'all, wash it for y'all, do a lot for y'all because okay. I got some stuff to do for it, y'all. Like, I got some stuff planned for it this week, so. Oh, you step out from uh, so, we is about to go around to AutoZone because Emo is fucking overheating, y'all. Before I just cut back on the camera, y'all, it just started saying that my engine temperature was hot. And so what that mean is, I know that that mean that I don't got enough cooler than my car. And the only time my car is really running that temperature that it's supposed to be is like when the, when the uh, cooling is being wished back and forth type shit. So I'm about to go grab me a little jug of coolant real quick and throw some coolant in here, man. Yeah, that's just the day in life of an RT owner, man. Like, what the fuck? Like, God damn. You don't never get to save no money with these cars, y'all. Like, God. 
But um, yeah, she running at the temperature she's supposed to be at now. But just a couple of seconds ago, like I said, it was just at 250, y'all. I had my car pulled over in the hazards in the right lane, blocking the street, y'all, like literally. But um, when I get inside the auto zone, I'm going to cut back on the camera. I'm not going to really give y'all no POV-ish type shit like this because I do these on the normal. Y'all know how these is. Um, but after that, I will be going to go wash my car and going to go vacuum it for y'all so y'all can see how she looking like when she cleaned up, man. Hey man, we just now made it. You feel me? Um, got on the work clothes, y'all. So, like I said, chill on me if y'all like, Damn, what the fuck you got on, y'all? I just got off work, like I said, man. So, um, I'm getting this shit done because I usually come in the house to take a nap as soon as I get off, y'all. But I gotta get some shit done, and I got a lot of videos coming up for y'all. So I gotta record this stuff and and get it and get everything out for y'all. So, um. Let me hurry up and find this. Grab this for y'all. No, it's not long here. Here we go. Here we go, y'all. This is exactly what we need. Y'all, every time we be looking for this, y'all, this lucky be hard to find. I'm not gonna lie, for whatever reason. But we got it now, so. You're gonna make this fast. You know, the engine enamel. Ooh, y'all. Y'all, y'all say I go orange? I can make my calipers orange, y'all. Try to say go orange with emo. Hey man, we done made it to the motherfucking speech. Let me go ahead and pop my hood real quick, y'all. Let her breathe some anyways. As y'all can see, my coolant, I have coolant in here, but it could be, like I said, it could either be a radiator hose. Well, I didn't say that, but it could be a radiator hose. It could be my fan. Let me look at my fan. Let me see if it's spin. Nah, the fan spin. The fan ain't got no messed up blades. Um, yeah, man. When you when you get shit like this, y'all, all y'all do is just come up and diagnose, man. Just look and see if anything leaking, anything look out of place. Just make sure, like, cause it could be a real good reason on why my shit overheating, y'all. It wouldn't just be overheating for no reason, y'all. Like, come on, like these cars is real good on this. I might have to get an upgrade. Um. 180 degree thermostat, but what I'm I am what I am gonna do real quick is throw this cooling in here. If this don't work, y'all, then your boy germ will be upgraded to the 180 degree thermostat because it don't make no sense to buy the same old one when I can get the better one for I think at least like thirty dollars, y'all. So I'm gonna upgrade that, but I'm gonna put this in here real quick and cut it back on and see if she feel a little better man go ahead and cut her own real quick actually wait a second let me grab my rag because if y'all don't know if the car was running previously you would need a rag because that mean the radiator cap is cold job well not the radiator cap but that mean that the yeah that mean that the coolant cap is is warm y'all so keep that in mind it's actually not back here let me check the back seat you go yeah, keep that in mind, y'all. Like, um, if you just got done driving your car, y'all, use this with a rag when you do this. Your car is going to be hot this time because you just did it. So, I mean, because you just drove it. So, let me go ahead, cut the car on real quick so I can unscrew it and then fill it up for y'all. See how my baby start feeling, man. Y'all see when I do that, y'all, you instantly, you don't want that pressure to, to come out like that, y'all, so. Just, you just ease on with it. Let me cut the car back off, y'all, because that means that the coolant is a little bit too warm for it to raise up. I meant for me to unscrew the cap, as I was just saying, it was about to start overflowing because the car is hot right now, y'all, so. Yeah, man, look at the coolant. If y'all look at the coolant right now, y'all, like, the coolant is at a, at a decent level, actually, so. For whatever reason that it's overheating, I'm not sure. But let's see. We gotta release that pressure. Is what you gotta do. 
all that pressure got to be released out of there, y'all. But you got to ease on it. Like, you see how I'm easing on it, y'all? Because if you don't ease on it, y'all, it'll explode everywhere. So, let the fumes out slowly how I'm doing it, if y'all can, as y'all see. Then life is RT on it, bro. Like, y'all hear it? Bubbling up and shit. It actually could be my coolant uh, reservoir, y'all. You never know. I probably just need a new reservoir. Um, trying to see. I'm trying to diagnose because it looked like I see a little bit of smoke from right here. So I'm trying to see. Is it um a tear or rip anything in the back? But like I said, y'all, I don't see no no coolant dripped out anywhere. So. Like I said, man, let me you ease on it, dog. <sighs> Can y'all see that? All right, y'all, we finally got it to simmer down a little bit, simmer down a little bit. I'm able to get the coolant cap off. I'm gonna let this air out a little bit, y'all, because I don't want it to explode on me. But um, yeah, man, you want to let it cool down a little bit because I just got off the freeway that the little bit of driving I just did, man. So I'm gonna let my baby cool down a little bit, and we're gonna fill her up in a quick second, y'all. Let's hurry up and go ahead and test it. Unscrew it right now. See if any pressure come up. Nope. That mean we green, y'all. So now. We good to cut the car on and fill it up as we cut it on, man. Actually, I'm not even gonna cut the car on just to keep it from uh just to keep it from getting out of hot temperature once again. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just go ahead and fill up the coolant uh with it off and then when it's on, I'm gonna just let it run for a couple of seconds so it can marinate um and get all of their shit like that, man. Y'all know. But this is a weird angle kind of as well, y'all, too. So um, give me one second. Let me put like a, a towel down or something like that to if I splash anything, y'all. Oh, hold on. Let me Ooh, shit. rest it out real quick, though, y'all, because I changed my oil with this last time. So I don't want to mix up two different chemicals. And I don't want to get anything oil-related inside my coolant reservoir. You feel me? I'd rather have a little couple of drops of water, even though it's pre-diluted. And it's not supposed to add water, but... This would be less damage than it would to add oil in. So, fill my baby up. Need some more juice, baby? You thirsty? Did you thirsty? Hold on. Hold on, I'll pour you some more juice. Yep, go ahead. Go ahead. Okay. That's all you get for now. All right, y'all. Now we're going to cut it on and see what we're working with. Oh, actually, I can fill it up a little bit more. Okay, there we go. Now, as y'all can see from resting, it's all the way up at the top, too. And even at the full line, if y'all can see that. So, let's go ahead and see how she feeling now. Uh, let me move this stuff. I'm gonna leave it open real quick so I can see how um move around when I cut the car on and then I'm gonna go back inside and I'm gonna look at the temperatures in a second. Let me just make sure everything is good. Up under here, y'all. Uh, so that's all I can see. That's nice and bright now compared to what it was, y'all. I ain't gonna lie. Before this, it was like a way brighter orange that was kind of looked like it was fading into yellow, y'all. So that's way better though. Um, let me close the hood. Well, no, actually, let me check the levels on the inside. Like I said, make sure she good. Coolant temp at 200. There we go. Good. Okay, cool. And she's not getting too hot when we rev. All right, good. Oh, we back inside. Let me look at my temperatures once again, just to make sure we good. That's good enough for me. All right, YouTube, your boy John is back. We is at the uh, car wash now. 
I'm about to vacuum my whip here and then leave from here and then go uh, wash it somewhere else. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna vacuum it here real quick though, since I'm here. Damn. I couldn't get the shit. All right, man. So yeah, as y'all can see, we're working right now. Uh, even way is low key dirty. I've been going to work back and forth from here, y'all. So um, I'm gonna go ahead and vacuum this up, get it all cleaned up and shit like that. And yeah, man. Man, let's go ahead. Start getting up in here, man. As y'all can see, this was well needed for emo man. As y'all can see, um, just the shit that I be doing off camera, y'all, like off of three, four, five germ videos, man. Like this, what I be going through, shit like that, man. Y'all know I'm just pretty much showing y'all what it's like to have one of these cars. Um, there's some shit that I don't never show the camera, so you know, I'm like, you know what? Let me switch it up this time and actually show the camera show y'all what it's like to have to deal with my everyday shit with my car um you know this shit like that man the front is nearly done though and we are about to move to the back in a second but i'm getting just this little residue up because i know how to get dirt up out these carpets if you do this a certain way if that makes sense so. it's bright so i apologize if it might be a little hard to see as well y'all um. Almost just fucked up my screen, y'all. Huh? I'm gonna cut on the camera when I leave just for the fact because the sun's so bright and because it's starting to get a little packed up here, y'all. So I'm gonna make this quick and then I'm gonna pretty much show y'all the uh, results when I get to the car wash if that makes sense. All right, y'all. Uh... <clears throat> I'm gonna go ahead and soak the wheels. This. All right. Every wheel, y'all. It's all right if we get it on the wheels, y'all. I'm gonna go ahead and spray it with some, uh, what I do is I spray it with some high pressure wax and uh, soap. So pretty much I get it all cleaned up after. Y'all, I'm not gonna lie. I shouldn't be up here using the, uh, the, the brush that everybody use. Cause I feel like it probably scratch up my car, y'all. But I don't like going to the uh, public washes uh, with a hand washing myself. So I, I either take blame for whatever I done damaged on it, y'all. Like I say I would rather hand wash it and find the damage and shit like that after. Y'all know what I'm trying to say. Go ahead, rinse it off real quick. We are gonna make this fast. Y'all. We ain't gonna take too long because I gotta go link up with my boys. My boys wanna link up with me. Real quick, so I'm gonna do that on the camera with y'all real quick, man. Bring y'all with me. All right, y'all. I, I washed it off camera because it's a little hard to try to wash it when y'all got two hands with that little uh, brush, y'all. So I did it off the camera, but I'm spraying it with some high pressure wax and soap. Get all of this soap off.
All right, y'all, we got emo. I cleaned up as y'all boys can. See, she low-key looking decent, you feel me? All right, man. I made it, man. I'm about to go ahead and clean my car real quick. I'm about to go ahead and take out this little shit and stuff like that, man. Tidy my whip up real quick. We're going to clean the whip out because in the next video, y'all about to see why I'm about to detail it real quick, man. It's going to look crazy. I'm not going to lie, man. Yeah, man. Let me uh, dump out my ashtray. Throw this little bottle of burner cologne. Oh, shit. Put the wrong in the trash, y'all. What the fuck am I doing? Okay, cool. Yeah, look at Emo. Emo looking good off the of wash I just did, man. Okay, just glass through, y'all. I'm not going to fake it to y'all. Um, It's a little bit of water on the hood, but that's fine, man. I'm about to hurry up and try to wipe it off and see if I can get the uh, marks off the hood. Um... Yeah, man, I'm just trying to go ahead and clean my baby up. I, I hate when my baby look dirty, and it's been well. Uh-oh. Uh, what the fuck? Ain't no way. Ain't no way my nigga just came. <laughs> Ain't no way. Ain't no fucking way. I like it for me. What the fuck? Destroy your gray scat with the red guts. Oh my gosh. Tell them what you came from. You came from the Daytona. I came from a Chevy Malibu. Exactly. From, uh, you feel me? From an RT. Then to RT the, to the scat, the man. Had you had feel RT me? Y'all, y'all can get a scat, man. If he can do it, y'all can do it too. Ooh. 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 pulling in too. Ooh. Bro, look at my Ooh. nigga. Ooh. My nigga, damn, everything on this motherfucker new. It still got the tags on it. God damn. Yeah. This bitch clear as fuck. Damn. Hey, this, hey, we got to come scat next. Yeah, so look, you see he came from 5'7". That's right. Hey, Trey. Trey, what we doing, man? Come here, come here, come here, come here. Bitch, you got the red in that motherfucker. That's what I said. I'm like, <laughs> oh, gosh. Last call, 23. T, he came from a 5'7. I mean, he came from the Daytona RT. That bitch look at look. It's a little bit of a. It's a little bit of an extra package compared to ours. A few moments later. The tracks is still on. What the fuck? That bitch get loose like that train. Trey, how did how that bitch get loose like that? How that bitch make loose like that? What the fuck? Bro, that bitch got that much power. Oh my gosh, this bitch is crazy, y'all. This bitch that never just break loose in track mode traction. What the fuck? <laughs> so what's your favorite job mode so far since you having this from the uh from the rt man what you are oh, you fucking with track mode it's crazy yo are we in a good destroyer gray oh my god yo this thing red alcantara guts y'all with the red <laughs> stitching y'all oh he got the brush the brush silver shit too i ain't gonna fake y'all this looking hard i gotta work on friday on friday y'all i looked up all i seen was a destroyer gray scat pulling in <laughs> with the yellow bumper guards on his I'm like, damn, what the fuck? And you had the yellow ones on your last one. Then you then you had the yellow bumper guards on the front two on your uh yeah. Damn <laughs> Fuck in the day of life video right here man make sure y'all boys like comment share subscribe man and we're gonna end the video off right here man
Peace. Look at my racks, solid. I see the grass getting long. Snakes, I'm gon' mow it. I'm gon' blow like brown. Racks on me, I'm sorry. Talk here, talk of the morning. I'm in the car, got motion. Bib ain't rock, can't fall.